Welcome back, everybody. Sweet Tips here. This is Silver Cell number one. It's been running for about two days, I guess. This is number two. This thing is getting full of pure silver. And what we're going to do today, start this video off, is here's the impure silver that we feed in to the anode basket on each of these cells this is the pure silver crystal that we harvested in our last video and what we're going to do we're going to take some of this look at that stuff man it is just gorgeous we're going to take some of this and we're going to make some electrolyte there's the uh that's the piece of copper that we used to cement the silver out of that second use electrolyte from silver cell number one. All right, so over here, what we're gonna do, is I'm gonna turn the uh, scale on. You see that? The light is just right so that it's reflecting. You can't see it. I'm gonna get a weight on this container right here. And we're going to add some pure silver crystal. Let's zero this out. We're going to add some pure silver crystal to this. This is this silver that we just harvested from our last video. Zero on the scale down there. See that? There's 70 grams going in. I'm going to use, I guess, probably about... Uh, we get 400 grams out of here I'm making some electrolyte so that we can augment both of those cells we're going to use the same electrolyte in both of those for our next silver cell run after we take the silver out of those so I want about 400 grams now let's make it four, 450 well, there's 485 okay we've got 485 grams in there and we need about 0.9 485 times 0.9 milliliters per gram so we need about 140 mil, uh, milliliters of nitric acid so what I'll do here I've got some nitric acid I'm gonna measure out Let's see what I say, 440. I'm going to measure out 300. Let's go ahead and get some water in here. I'm going to add about half a liter of distilled water. Take it up to the 600. Now let's go to 700 milliliter level with distilled water. Let's pour in our 300 milliliters of nitric acid. I'm just gonna add it right on in. See, there's an immediate reaction. I'm gonna cover this up. I'm gonna set it up here. I'm not gonna put any heat on it just yet. We're just gonna go ahead and let this react. It'll create heat of its own from that uh, reaction that's going on in there where the uh, nitric acid is dissolving the silver what I'll do is measure out another 150 milliliters of nitric acid let me get this in here and then what I'll do I'll put that in in a minute I want to make sure that uh, we're not gonna overflow that thing it's a little less than 150 I'll add this in in a few seconds now what we'll do is put this on time lapse this is about a 12 hour time lapse or so and uh, you can see that every bit of the silver got dissolved so I added some more silver crystal halfway through because I want to make sure that there's a little bit of silver left down in the bottom of that beaker when that reaction is complete I can tell when it's complete when all the fumes are gone
I've left the uh, electrolyte on there for over 12 hours now and all the fumes have cleared up in there there's still a little bit of silver left in the bottom of the beaker so I'm quite certain now that every bit of the available free nitric has been consumed because I don't want a whole bunch of excess nitric acid in my electrolyte here's a shot of silver cell number one and the crystal growth in there I think this thing's been running for two days now and if you look over here this is silver silver cell number two it's been running for about eight or nine days and you can see the difference there's a ton of silver in here and see how close that one crystal there in the front is to hitting that anode basket so what I'm gonna have to do is knock that down so we don't come in contact with the anode filter let's go ahead and knock this down Look at that beautiful crystal in there man it's just beautiful sparkly I'm gonna knock these down so that they do not make contact with our anode basket that would be a bad thing okay we'll just let this continue to uh, operate the consumption of the silver up here in the anode basket has slowed way down and I think that's because uh, that second batch of shot that I had in that different container it was a lot less clean I'll say a lot dirtier than the previous batch of silver shot that I used and so what we're doing is we're clogging up that anode filter and uh, slowing the current flow down and that will slow down the crystal growth this is Friday night and I'm working on some gold back here in this beaker without the camera and it's like taking a breath of fresh air this is my gold that I've encoded with silver and now we're pulling the silver and the base metals out with nitric acid boils and this is not what this video is going to be about this video is going to be about getting the uh, the silver out of silver cell number two and I'll show you that here in a minute I've got a uh, some nitric acid in this bottle what I'll do is add this right on in this is dilute nitric acid and what I'm doing is I encoded this gold with some sterling silver now I'm pulling the sterling silver back out with these nitric acid boils so just back up on the heat cover it up once I've pulled all the silver and base metals out of that gold the gold gets left behind and it'll be high purity there's about three troy ounces in that beaker I take that silver solution and I add it to this jar I've got some sterling silver in here any remaining nitric acid in that solution will react with the silver in this jar and put that silver in solution and then what I do is I pour it through a filter and I get a solution that's full of silver flask up here out of the way I've got my silver bucket down here and this is the uh, bucket that contains my cement silver if you remember when we harvested the silver out of silver cell number one I added the rinse water to this bucket and I've added some pieces of clean copper down in there and what I'm going to do now is pour this solution that's got a ton of silver in it 
into this bucket and we're going to recover the silver out of this solution it will cement out on these pieces of copper down in this bucket if you look down in the bottom of this bucket it's full of cement silver this is pure silver powder 99 98% pure and it comes from the uh, the solution here that I'm about to pour in this is our filtered silver nitrate solution that I pulled out of the uh, encorded gold back there pour it in here consume the excess nitric and I filter it and now what we're going to do is add it to this bucket and the copper that's down in there will cause this silver to come out of solution as that uh, cement silver that I pulled up and showed you there just a second ago so as you can see this is where the silver comes from that I run through my silver cell I use sterling silver to refine the gold I alloy the scrap gold with sterling silver and the reason I do that is so that the uh, nitric acid will be able to penetrate and pull the silver and the base metals back out and when I get done up there on that uh, reaction back there that red one when I get done with that I'll have nearly pure gold left in the bottom of that beaker all right, let me stir this up to make sure I get a, uh, a fairly consistent mixture here. And we should have this stuff cementing out on the copper down there now. And this will take a while, probably take a couple days. Just leave it set in here until no more reaction happens. And the copper gets consumed in this reaction. It goes into solution as the uh, silver comes out of solution onto those pieces of copper in there. When this reaction is complete, I drain all that blue liquid off of there and I end up with a bucket of cement silver that looks like this. And what I do then, uh, that's about 25 pounds of silver in here. What I do with it is I melt this cement silver into shot that's what this is. I melt it, pour it in water and make these little granules, these shot. And then I run it through the silver cell down here. I add it to that anode filter basket. We pass an electric current through it. The silver dissolves, passes through that Dacron filter, and then it deposits as high purity silver on the inside of the uh, stainless steel bowl that is the cathode. This is our electrolyte that we made earlier in the video. And we'll use this when we do the harvest on silver cell number two here. And if you look down in here, it is just packed full of pure silver crystals. And those crystals are starting to grow up towards that anode basket. And I've had to knock them down every couple hours to keep them from coming in contact with this anode basket. I think this has only been in operation for about eight or nine days. I can't remember. I'll have to look. But it's getting too full. I'm going to have to harvest the silver out of here. Let's go ahead and knock these things down they grow and they protrude out from the walls here and they extend on and reach out towards the anode basket so I gotta keep knocking them down I've been having to do this every couple hours so I think we're ready to harvest silver cell number two here This is silver cell number one. It's been running about three or four days now, I guess. And it doesn't quite have... Well, yeah, it's going good. Look at that, man. Those crystals are growing nicely in there for me. 
looks like I need to uh, add a little bit of electrolyte in there. But this one will be ready to harvest in about a week, I guess. So now that I have two silver cells running, I can alternate them and harvest one cell per week. The gold is getting, uh, the level in there is getting kind of low. So what I'm going to do is add some distilled water to this beaker. And now we're going to add a little bit of nitric acid in there. And we'll put this into our uh, reaction back here. What I'm doing is pulling the silver and the base metals out of that and quartered gold. I put the silver in. Now I'm pulling it back out with hot dilute nitric boils. And uh, what'll be left is nearly pure gold when this reaction is complete. This one is for number one. This one is for number two. You can see the amps have dropped off on number two. I'm not gonna add any more silver in here because uh, we're gonna harvest the pure silver crystal out of there. But I can add some to silver cell number one. I think I'll let this number two run one more night. Keep coming out and knocking those crystals down. And then uh, tomorrow, Saturday, we'll come out here and harvest that pure silver crystal and get a yield on silver cell number two with the new HP silver cell. So this will conclude part one of silver cell number two pure silver crystal harvest thank you for watching